Inside of this box, maybe the best cycling head unit ever made. The Garmin Edge 1040 Solar. And inside this box is another Garmin Edge 1040 Solar. Now, no man needs two Edge 1040 Solars, so stay tuned to the rest of this video if, um, if you want one. This video is not a review, but it is a first look and unboxing of the new 1040 Solar. Now, full disclaimer, Garmin sponsored me personally, and I've been riding a uh, top secret pre-production model for the last couple of weeks, but this is a full release version, so we're gonna find out what you get in the box when you buy one of these new. What's in the box? So you get the device. Compared to the 830 that I've been using, this is a much bigger device. This is the best bit. Absolutely massive color screen. The first things you'll notice is that the locking mechanism for the mount when it attaches to your bike is now made of aluminium. It also has the little nodes so you can attach a battery pack if you want to. Buttons are all in the same familiar place as with other Garmin head units. One big change from my 830 is that the charging port is now a USB-C. It's faster for charging and pretty much all my camera gear is USB-C. So that makes it very easy for me. Piece of cardboard. You get a new style out front mount, which has different shims for different size handlebars. Also, you can disconnect it and connect it to any action camera mount as well. So if you have a GoPro thing, you get instruction manuals. You get a little strap string thing, which I always open my Garmin and threw this away or left it in the box. But in actual fact, it's quite good if you're riding off road and there's a risk of your head unit falling off. You connect this and then you loop this around your handlebars. So then if it does come off the mount, you have the backup of the string. You get a more standard looking out front mount as well. This one fits a variety of different width handlebars and has the fitting for the Garmin charge pack. So if you attach this to your top section and then you can fit the charge pack underneath there, nice and neat, extends the battery life. But how much will you need to extend the battery life on this head unit? Then have all your rubber bandy style mounts. So if you don't want the uh, out front one, you just want to put it on top of your stem. A lot of mountain bikers will do that. You got all the usual bits to attach it. You then have a USB-C to USB cable, very handy, and a silicone case. Considering this is a premium device, quite nice to have a little bit of protection on it, especially if you're doing mad off-road stuff. Sticks out slightly from the screen, so if you did put your device face down, it's protected and won't scratch if you put it down on a table in a cafe. Turning it on and setting it up is easier than ever. It connects to your phone and then it transfers and syncs all of your existing activities and sensors. So it picks up your power meter, heart rate monitor, or anything else you have connected straight away. It is already loaded with worldwide maps. And one of the first things you'll notice is how clear everything looks on the screen. They've completely revamped the UI. It's now a lot more like a phone. It's kind of widget based. You can add widgets to the home screen that you want to see when you turn the device on. Going into your ride profile, so if I start an imaginary road ride here, I can flick over to the map screen and you can see how good that map is. The extra screen size is something that I thought I wouldn't really need and I've been running the 830, but as soon as you have a taste of it, especially if you're doing bike packing or anything that you really need to navigate, you then get hooked and then you want the bigger screen. If you're in the decision-making process still and you're trying to choose between two head units, in my opinion, I would always choose the bigger screen. So that was the first time I've done the setup because my pre-production unit was already set up when I got it and I think that took me less than a minute. I'm sure I speak for lots of people when I say, when you buy a device like this, you kind of just want to turn it on and go. And this, because of the phone syncing feature, allows that, so impressive. Now another massive benefit of having a bigger screen with this particular version. So this is the 1040 Solar. There's a normal 1040 as well. The Solar has solar panels in the screen. Just like the technology that they use in Garmin watches, there's actually solar panels in the watch face around the edge and then a slightly less powerful one on the face. This has that technology. So every hour that you ride in daylight, you gain back 20 minutes of battery power. I can't do that maths in my head, but it's quite a lot back. And from what I've heard, these claims are quite conservative as well. The other nice thing is that a head unit is facing the sky and a watch is not necessarily always facing the sky. So you're probably gonna get even better solar transfer performance with this because it's actually sat there being 
sunned. Battery life they claim up to 45 hours of intense usage and if it's in battery saver mode up to 100 hours. In terms of satellite coverage it now has multiband GNSS technology. I don't know what that means but apparently it makes it better when you're underneath trees and that kind of thing so if you're in the forest riding around the coverage should be better and you won't have to like link up your routes manually afterwards if you're going for KOMs and stuff like that. Great in particular for mountain bikers who spend a lot of time around here anyway under tree cover. Now along with this head unit there's actually some new metrics and guides that Garmin are using to help you identify where your strengths are, where you should be putting power down on a course and how much stamina you have left during a ride based on loads of different parameters so the more information that you give it the more accurate those predictions will be. First there's a thing called power guide which recommends different power targets depending on where you are through a course. Then there's cycling ability so you classify what kind of rider you are then it will give you training targets to focus on for a future course. So if you have an upcoming race that's really hilly and you're not a very good climber the device and along with Garmin Connect will suggest to you training plans to try and improve your fitness before the event. It's crazy to see how smart technology like this is getting. Like I said the more information that you give it the more accurate it becomes. Now seeing as it is a lovely day I think I better go outside to test the new 1040 solar, you know? I've got to test the solar panels because it's sunny. I don't look like I'm good snorkeling anymore. That was the, the chosen tool for people who used to nick cars in the 90s. It's like literally you just did that, slotted it down inside the window and And the people the or you? No, you just do, not me. I was never. You would? No, I never burnt out any cars. And then, you, and then screwdriver in the barrel and just boom. Because you're talking as if you know yeah. exactly what you're doing. But. Yeah, I've just seen it on YouTube. Yeah. I don't think you can do it anymore. I think there's a lot more technology involved. I'm making a video about my head unit. Can you review it for me? Oh, it's an unbiased yeah. review. It feels nice. Looks nice. Aluminium on the yeah. back. Doesn't feel heavy. Just feels like well made. Screen wise, looks nice and clean, doesn't it? Nice and big, so you can see it with my aging eyes. Yeah, I like it. Is this uh, so you can add a battery pack? So when you're doing these like massive epics. But you might not need a battery pack. Because it's solar powered. It has a solar panel built in. 30% power over an hour, 20 minutes. 20 minutes? In an hour. So that's 30%, 33.33 recurring. Quick maths. There you go. That's your unbiased review. Not Cheers, guys. Thought this would be a nice opportunity to test out the solar power on the Garmin 1040, but now it is cloudy and sunny. But my screen's telling me technically there is some solar still going through, so that bodes well for British riders. Get me home. If you've made it this far in the video, I have a treat for you. If you want one of these, very nice head unit then all you have to do is comment down below why you think you should win one and I will get someone who's not me to choose the person that wins it and then I'll post it to you. Thanks to Garmin for sponsoring this channel and supplying the head units and stay tuned for some more videos coming up soon because I'm going to be bikepacking to Switzerland on Wednesday. Wednesday.